All right, Barry's going to describe the Richardson gun for you a little bit in detail. This is a Richardson uh, gun made by Richardson Industries, made after World War II. David Richardson was a, an executive officer on a PT boat. The boat got shot out from under him. He swam for 24 hours, made it to the Philippines, and he fought with the guerrillas over there, the Philippine guerrillas fighting the Japanese occupation at that time. They had these slide-type pipe guns, and after the war, he tried to market this thing. This is made by Richardson Industries, very crudely made. The receiver tube is just, a, is just a simple piece of pipe. Now, on this gun, there is a groove here in the barrel. Now, what that's for is when this gun is working properly, there's a safety. When you pull the trigger, it pulls a cam down and lets the barrel slide all the way back to fire the shell. Otherwise, it's supposed to hang in that groove and it keeps the barrel from falling out or coming back as long as the trigger's in the forward position. Somebody has abused this gun and broken that off so it doesn't function anymore, but that's how it works. When you pull the trigger, it releases the safety and let the barrel slam back. The breech, is nothing more, breech plug is nothing more than a piece of turned steel with a, a fixed firing pin turned on it. And what holds it in the receiver is this bolt. Pretty simple design. Very strong design. And we're going to put it together for you. Trusty old Swiss Army knife, of course. Greatest thing ever invented. Swiss Army knife and popcorn pocket. With this other crude hardware bolt they got in here. They, they, they really spared no expense with this thing, believe me. Now, no butt plate. <laughs> the barrel, crudely welded. It looks for all the world like there's a crack in the barrel right here. Right there. It's an open place in the barrel right there, and if you look on the inside of the barrel, there's another matching defect. I think this is just a rough casting. I've shot all kind of loads out of this gun with no problem. We're going to put our foregrip on. Again, sparing no expense. Being as there's no safety on this gun now, when you load it, you have to be very careful not to bump it prematurely. Now, if that gun was loaded, it'd be ready to fire. Out in the field, they probably would have had a little bandolier to carry their shells in. This is a federal maximum load triple alt buckshot with eight pellets in it. Definitely a viable combat load, especially in an ambush situation. Remington double lock buck, reduced uh, recoil load. Not bad at all, Barry. <laughs> One ounce Winchester slug, rifle slug. Out of the Richardson. Five gallon bucket of water. A steel bucket. Richardson gun, heavy field load, number five, bird shot. We're going to shoot a five gallon bucket here at about 10 feet and see what kind of big hole we can blow in it. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> 